Hello, everybody. My name is Roberto Martinez, aka Morty Boy Three Nine Two. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, today's video is just going to be a quick review on the T-Mobile Five G Home Internet, which I recently just switched to because I've noticed T-Mobile just came into my area with some with a tower. So you know they're the only ones really in the area with a cell phone tower. I get full bars at my house, like Five G Ultra Wideband N Forty One, which is T-Mobile's best now connectivity you could possibly have that's going to be standalone 5g that's going to be 600 to 700 megabytes download you know if you're lucky if you're really close to the tower you may see a gig so i mean this it's impressive it's impressive enough to say i made the complete switch i'm returning my comcast equipment i'm saving a ton of money by doing so and the upload speed has tripled I was getting like 30 megabytes to upload speed. Now I'm getting 103. Uploading these videos are going to be a breeze. Doing what I do on a daily basis is going to be a breeze. I get download speeds from 600 to 700 megabytes per second. Obviously, when it's congested, it drops around to like 350 download. But that is completely okay with me. I, I, I'm saving so much money. And I'm getting great ping times, as you can tell. This is about what I would get on Comcast. I know it's not the perfect ping, but this is exactly what I got on Comcast when I ran speed test, which is around like 12 to 15 milliseconds. So the ping is on par with Comcast. And that's the only thing that matters to me at the end of the day. As you can tell right now, it's not really congested. It's nine o'clock at night and I'm getting 600 to 700 megabytes download speed. And that is so impressive. This is, this is where it impressiveness comes with. You know, if you can get it to work, you know, unfortunately, my first impression of T-Mobile Home Internet wasn't great. I had issues with the modem and honestly, I don't trust the modem so much that I even had them send out me a new one. So they're currently shipping me out a new modem because my current modem is struggling to connect to 5G. If I right now it's connected, as you can tell. But if I disconnect a modem right now, if I lose power for whatever reason, a power flickers and a modem resets. I will probably have to fight with it to reconnect to 5G. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, I had to fight to get them to send me out a new modem. They said it was normal, you know, even though I'm sitting there right now on my phone with full bars of 5G ultra wideband and 41. They were telling me it was normal for the modem to act that way. No, it's not normal for a modem that is has bigger antennas that's supposed to be able to provide a better signal that's designed to be a home internet gateway should not be getting worse service than my cell phone which has smaller antennas and is not able to pick up the signal like that modem can there's no excuses for the modem to struggle to pick up 5g i had literally 4g for the first day and i had to fight with them fight with them nothing was working correctly and it was very unfortunate i had to fight with them so much to just get it to work now it's working perfectly speeds are incredible i am very happy with the service that i have today i'm extremely happy there is i can't have any words to express how happy i am with this service after i got it to work properly it's working now it's fantastic i'm getting speeds that i get with comcast and i'm paying over half that i would be paying with comcast so since i'm a t-mobile customer i get it for 30 dollars a month now, if you're not a T-Mobile customer, it's 50. But to me, that is a set price for life price. It's never going to increase. Me getting the speeds I'm getting right now, me getting similar ping as I got on Comcast, I really can't complain. And the only time I would ever switch is since fiber came into the area. I'm hoping it does. I see Verizon right now in the area with a fiber truck putting fiber up on the telephone poles for probably for the cell phone tower. But if they would bring it to my way, I would switch immediately. No questions asked. I would pay the extra whatever it may be per month and I would get fiber. But honestly, Comcast is just not worth it. The exploding price tag, you know, my internet plan right now was technically $60 a month, but within a few months, it was going to go up to $120 a month. And that is the price tag I couldn't live with. I was able to get a plan that is going to be very similar to speeds. And I'm paying $30 a month for life as long as, as long as I keep my T-Mobile line, which I have no reasons not to. I get incredible service everywhere I go. 
it, it's you know or even acceptable service you know it's not perfect everywhere it's very evident that t-mobile doesn't have as strong as a network as verizon and at&t but it's good enough and i have a backup line on verizon so if i have to i have two backup lines on verizon that i'm able to connect to whenever i want so i mean it, there's no lose situation for me everywhere i go i get full bars amazing service there's like one area in my town if i go out it's like one section of the town like area of road like three or four roads where the service is like not iffy but once you leave that one area it's great service and i love how t-mobile is building towers and you don't really see that with verizon or at&t right now but i see t-mobile building towers to bring better service into the area and being able to be able to connect to N41, which is standalone 5G, which is going to be the best 5G you can possibly have and getting speeds like this. And I'm showing you right now is incredible. And you know, 14 millisecond ping, that is a good ping. Now, is it as good as fiber? No, but is that as good as Comcast? Yes. That's what you're going to see on Comcast. Majority of the time, you're going to see a 14 to like 20, millisecond ping on comcast the ping is on par my speeds are where i would expect it to be the upload speed has doubled tripled you know and i have no complaints other than the modems can be suspect make sure you do not let them walk over top of you look i had t-mobile tell me this was normal i kept on pushing the envelope i'm a guy that gets answers i'm known as a guy that i'm not gonna quit until I get some kind of resolution. I would contact them multiple times. I contact multiple different people and I will continue pushing the envelope until I get an answer. And it has led me to have great success. I got a new modem coming out. Honestly, probably don't need a modem now. To be quite frank, which I probably don't. The modem probably works just fine, but because of the issues I was having at first, I am a fear of losing the 5G connection if something may happen. Like if I lose power for a minute, I may have to fight super hard to get that 5G signal. Thankfully, it hasn't happened and it looks to be working fine at this moment. I'm blessed to have something where I can pay way less, have service that I could possibly expect. And I'm super happy with the service. If you're interested, just go to T-Mobile's website, check to see if your address has it. It is not available anywhere, but I've been told, I've been told, if you feel comfortable and if you have, if you know T-Mobile is in your area and you know there's great service there, I've been told if you go to the T-Mobile store, they will get you access to T-Mobile 5G home internet. They will put an address in that currently is eligible and they will get you to T-Mobile home internet. As long as you go to the store, you talk with them. And what's so great about T-Mobile 5G home internet is... It's not locked into one location. Yes, technically you're supposed to use it at your home since it is a 5G home internet, but you can absolutely travel with this modem and it will pick up signal wherever you're at, anywhere. And what's so great about this, it will even pick up LTE. Now is LTE the greatest technology? No, but it's still gonna get you a great speed. It's gonna be able to get the work done. So you say you travel for work, right? Put that shit in your little bag, a little duffel bag. Pack it up with your laptop and go travel. And you got internet wherever you go. So you plug that shit in. You can play your Fortnite. You can play your Overwatch. You, you can upload content to the web. You could do everything with your very own internet. Now, I have noticed that the, wi the, the Wi-Fi router inside the modem isn't the greatest. It's, it's horrible once you get so far away from it. That I just plugged in my regular Wi-Fi router, and that's what we use. And I just have like the T-Mobile Wi-Fi just listed as a completely different name, so no devices are connecting to it. And honestly, uh, that's the best way to do it um, because it's not really the best Wi-Fi router built into the mo the gateway. But obviously, I have my own. I have I ran my own networking throughout my whole house, so I have a great idea of what I need to do. And let's do a quick one more quick speed test to see how well, obviously I said, you're going to get around 14 to like 20 millisecond ping. And honestly, that's what you're going to get on Comcast. And I've tested out games. I'm getting the same ping in these games as I would if I had Comcast. Honestly, it's been impressive. The speeds are impressive right now. It's not really in a very high traffic time. I would say 
and I'm getting amazing speeds. I'm getting incredible speeds, speeds I could live with, even with it being very congested at times. I'm still getting like 350 uh, megabytes per second download. And honestly, that's sufficient enough. And I'm getting upload speeds at 100 megabytes per second. Like that's consistently what I'm getting. Even when into traffic is congested, order towers is congested. I'm still getting that every single time. My name is Marty Boy with Martinez392. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding T-Mobile Home Internet. Like I said, the only negative is the, mo the gateway to give you could be suspect. Do not be afraid to push the envelope. Look, these carriers are going to give you a big hard time. It's what they do. But continue pushing that envelope. Show them that you know what you're talking about because I have two degrees in networking. And these guys wanted to tell me a bunch of fibs and, and try to convince me that this modem was completely okay. And I know it's not because I shouldn't have to fight with the damn modem when my phone gets perfect signal all the time. I don't have any issues. They try to tell me there's a service area and then they told me that this modem should perform differently than your cell phone. Yes, it should perform differently, but I should be getting a better quality signal than what my phone is picking up because my phone has smaller antennas than the modem. The, the gateway has bigger antennas. It's made for it. Why is it struggling? And they tried to convince me that it was perfectly okay. They, I have it at the highest point of the house. I literally have it pointing towards the tower because I know where the tower is. I know exactly where the location of the tower is. So I literally have it at oh, that section of the house. I have it outside. I have it next to a window. Nothing's obstructing it. Literally, it's only the window. It should not struggle. And it was at first. And it took a good two to three days for the modem to work properly. I'm just glad it is now. now I'm still getting a replacement. Unfortunately, I, I can't cancel it. Well, I would. But and then again, I think about it is, what if the power goes out again, right? And this modem does the same thing. And I got to fight with it to get the connection back. It's just not worth it. They gave me a $20 credit because I'm going to have to pay $20 when I go pick up the new modem. But... I'll have a new modem. I just put the Sims card in and walk away and be perfectly fine. It's going to operate perfectly the way I want it. And I can't really complain. My name is Marty Boy. Like I said earlier, if you like this video, please go down below. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe so you never miss another video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about T-Mobile 5G home internet, I'm the man. Ask me the questions. Leave your comment down below. And hope you guys all have a great one. Bye-bye now.